Next is Flat Hat Online Editor Zach Hardy here with Ishan Barden uh, for this week's Deco. So, Ishan, um, I talked to you earlier in the school year um, about an internship that you did over the summer with the Boys and Girls Club of America, and I thought that was really cool. Um, do you mind telling us a bit more about your experience there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was an incredibly unique experience because it wasn't with your typical Boys and Girls Club that we see in our neighborhoods and in our towns. It was actually with the national office in uh, the government relations headquarters. So how the entire organization works is we have 4,000 individual units across the world, actually, about 3,000 in the country, a couple international ones in Canada, and then a bunch of odd military bases all over the world. And most of that money comes from private donations from um, individuals to the clubs, but about $150 million comes directly from the federal government. And it's the government relations headquarters in D.C. It's a six-person office, a tiny little office. Um, it's our job to appropriate and distribute that fairly and equitably among the clubs that need it most. And so this summer I worked um, firsthand with those folks who are all, you know, they many have practiced law, uh, some have been in politics, and it was a phenomenal experience because I got to work directly with uh, politicians, both federal politicians and state politicians. I spent a lot of time on Capitol Hill and in the congressional offices, awesome. and it was an, it was incredibly enriching. I learned so much. Uh, you learn a lot about D.C. working with politicians uh -huh. because they are the quintessential D.C. Um, individual, so it was it was a phenomenal experience. Well, cool. um, so I understand that you're an economics and government double major. Yeah. Um, so how are you going to take your experience with the Boys and Girls Club and sort of combine it with that, or do you have after that, do you have an idea of what you want to do um, post-graduation? Uh, that's, that's an incredibly tricky question. Um, I guess I'll answer that in two parts. One, uh, where to start? Okay, so I, a couple of opportunities have opened themselves up in and around Washington, D.C., <laughs> but uh, I, you know, this is incredibly strange to hear from a 20, 21-year-old kid, but I kind of want to get away for a while. Um, I kind of want to get out of D.C., I kind of want to get out of Virginia, I've spent my whole life here. Don't blame me. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so I actually recently applied to the Peace Corps. Okay. So I'll be finding out about that in a couple of months. Uh, it's, you know, way out of left field. I oh. didn't have any prior um, involvement with that organization or uh, any such one, actually. I just, you know, um, my mo mother goes on a lot of medical missions and she's been all over the world. And it's been incredibly inspiring because I feel like you know, in my four years, it wasn't there, I guess three going on four years here. Um, I just, you know, I've done a lot of random stuff. I haven't made that difference though. I really wanna, I really wanna actually genuinely just help get people. completely out there. Exactly, awesome. uh, put myself out there and make a real difference. And that's kind of led me to the Peace Corps because they have some phenomenal, going back to the first part of your question, they have some phenomenal um, two-year Peace Corps slash grad school programs, which, you know, you can get a master's in public um, okay. applied economics, et cetera, et cetera. Awesome. Yeah, uh, but about 150 schools have uh, collaboratory programs with the Peace Corps. So that's that's kind of my long-term goal. Um, don't plan on working for a few years if that goes through. So yeah, uh, I'm incredibly excited. It's a, it's a scary year. It's a scary time. But, uh, yeah, lots but of it'll be great. Yeah. I'm sure it'll end Absolutely. up well. Um, so I understand, uh, you're also um, an essay senator or whatever, and I know that essays um, really tried to up, up their involvement with student life. You know, Dalai Lama, Absolutely. Homecoming, you guys have planned a lot. So what kind of things? have you been dealing with? What kind of legislation have you been dealing with um, yeah. in your term? Sure. Um, I'm actually on two committees, Outreach and Student Life, uh, which you actually alluded to. Student Life, we've, it's been a phenomenal year for us. The Dalai Lama was, by all accounts, a smashing success. We were incredibly excited about that. And, um, you know, from more of an outreach perspective, I'm the chair of the Outreach Committee. And like you said, we have been trying to revamp our image. Um, we don't have a bad image by any means, collectively, at least I don't believe so, but we're really trying to put ourselves out there. Uh, recently, my committee co-sponsored a bill titled, What Can the SA Do For You? And it's really more involved at that specific individual outreach targeting. Um, you know, we've been prodded along dining services, rec sports. They've been doing great jobs at reaching out to students over the last couple of months. And, you know, we're trying to really get on the ground. We've, like, the, you know, senators or any members of SA have never tabled directly at Sadler before. And we're and starting that. We're out there, we're out there yeah. three days a week. And we have gotten some phenomenal feedback. Little things that, you know, well, slip. Voter registration, too. And different oh, it's, like it's been, like, we've broken records. It's, yeah. it's been wonderful. We've gotten hundreds of people registered to vote. And, you know, in a year like this, that's more important than ever. And uh, we're really excited about the rest of our term. Okay. We just got our new senators elected. I got two on my committee. Uh, they're already doing a great job.
Cool. Um, so I know you're also a Cap, uh, brother at Kappa Alpha or whatever. Do you mind uh, telling us a bit about your experience in the brotherhood there? Yeah, sure. Um, more than anything else, K has opened a lot of doors for me. Um, I never considered myself a fraternity man coming into college. I didn't think I would rush a chapter or join a chapter. Um, you know, I waited until my sophomore year, and then I, after, after, I guess after my freshman year, I went home. All of my friends from back home had pledged across the country. Most of my freshman hallmates had gone Greek, and I figured, you know, maybe I'll give it a shot. Why yeah. not? And I, you know, I rushed. I joined. I loved every second of it. Um, it's led to, I guess, innumerable positive experiences. I've made the best friends of my life. I've, it's opened so many doors. I've, I'm involved in a lot more organizations on campus, which I never would have smelled if it weren't for KA. Um, and I, you know, it's. I live, I've lived in the unit for two years, which is just, it's wonderful. The units get a really bad rap, especially with uh, independence. But if you're living there, you know, I live there with 40 of my brothers, 40 of my friends, and it's it's fantastic. Never a dull moment. Never, a, sure. dull, never <laughs> a dull moment. Yeah. Great. Uh, well, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you.